In a move that totally makes sense for them, Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker eloped, but they're not the only famous faces to have done so. So let's get right into it. Let's not act like we didn't see this Kravis news coming. According to TMZ, who first broke the news, Court and Trev did what she and Scott couldn't do in Las Vegas on the first season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. They got married, but without a license. The news outlet reported that just hours after Travis performed at the Grammys, the two walked right into the One Love wedding chapel around 2 a.m. on Monday morning, and they made the conscious decision to get hitched. TMZ's sources told them that Courtney and Travis did not allow the venue to take any photos, and instead they brought their own photographer and security team. The outlet sources also shared that it was important to Court and Trav that an Elvis impersonator officiate their wedding, so fake Elvis did just that. But it sounds like there's still more to come from these two because TMZ's sources are saying this won't be the only ceremony to mark their commitment to each other. Apparently, there will be several other celebrations. Fingers crossed the rest of these ceremonies ceremonies include both of their families because, you know, Court's super big on family. Court later shared some photos from the ceremony alongside the caption, found these in my camera roll. She went on to add, once upon a time in a land far, far away, Las Vegas, at 2 a.m. after an epic night and a little tequila, a queen and her handsome king ventured out to the only open chapel with an Elvis and got married with no license. Practice makes perfect. But Kravis weren't the first to have an Elvis-tastic elopement. Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner did the same thing many moons ago, and it kind of happened the same way, too. The two got married at a Las Vegas chapel shortly after the Billboard Music Awards wrapped, and they were pronounced husband and wife by an Elvis impersonator. The only thing is, these two definitely would have gotten away with a secret wedding if it hadn't been for Diplo, who decided to live stream the event on Instagram for the whole internet to see. So it's safe to see these two decided to start their legal union with a bang, and honestly, we could not see them doing it any other way. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher are also part of the eloping club. Since it's not brand new information that Mila and Ashton are notoriously private about their personal lives, not only did they keep the date and location of their wedding under tight lock and key, they also actually misled the public while doing so. The two actually managed to quietly tie the knot in California back in July of 2015, and then ended up in Yosemite National Park with their daughter for a little honeymoon. Their reasoning for a super duper secret wedding? Well, we'll let Ashton tell you. We didn't want to be like screaming our vows at each other. Right. And being like, forever, did you say <laughs> never? Makes total sense. I guess that's why helicopters aren't personally invited to weddings. And then there's Cardi B and Offset, who surprised the whole world when they revealed that they got married in secret. It all went down in June of 2018 when Migos took home the award for Best Group at the BET Awards. While Quavo made it a point to thank some of their fellow peers and then God, Offset took the mic to say, I thank my wife, you should thank yours. Offset had the internet confused considering that at that point the public only knew that Offset and Cardi B were engaged. It turns out Cardi ended up revealing the next day that not only were they married, but the two actually eloped back in September. Cardi tweeted the news by saying, Our relationship was so new, breaking up and making up, and we had a lot of growing up to do. But we were so in love, we didn't want to lose each other. One morning in September, we woke up and decided to get married. She continued, We found someone to marry us, and she did, just the two of us and my cousin. I said I'd do with no dress, no makeup, and no ring. Cardi went on to say how much she appreciated Offset for wanting her to have that special moment that every girl dreams of. Then in true Cardi fashion, she ended the message with an out-of-pocket line by saying, well now since you little nosy no, at least you can stop saying I had a baby out of wedlock. Boom, mic drop. To get all the details on Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker tying the knot, click right over here for another clever video. Then hit up that comment section below and let us know which of these couples eloping shocked you the most. For now, I'm your host Carly Henderson. You can follow me on social media at Carly Henderson underscore, and I'll see you next time.